Hey everyone, I'm here with the next big update for Don't Starve Together, the Heart of the Ruins update. This update just hit and we've been given a lot of neat things to mess around with. I would very much like to point out up front that they will be releasing this update in stages, so this means we'll be getting even more content tacked on that relates to this theme soon. First up, we have ourselves a new mini-boss, the Reanimated Skeleton. You'll need to acquire a Shadow Atrium by killing the Knight, Bishop, and Rook Shadow Monsters during the New Moon event. You will also need some fossils which can be acquired by digging up rocks in the cave. When you have 8 of these, you can assemble the skeleton. There are two forms of the skeleton and you'll need the one that has the horns facing up in order to summon the boss. Use the Shadow Atrium on the skeleton and you'll witness the skeleton transform into the reanimated skeleton. This boss has beautiful animations associated with it. Be careful as this boss can trap you in a fossil cage and completely immobilize you. As of now, the reanimated skeleton doesn't have any unique drops other than Nightmare Fuel, your Shadow Atrium, and the fossils, but I can only imagine they have more planned for it. Ornate chests can no longer be destroyed. This includes the small chests and the large ornate chests you obtain from killing the Ancient Guardian. The trade-off is awesome, however. Over time, your ruins will be able to regenerate, and the loot inside of these chests is included in that. Large ornate chests from the Guardian will disappear, and instead be replaced with a new Ancient Guardian. This means loot, gems, Tholcite, and Ancient Guardian horns are now renewable items. They've also stated in the patch notes that damaged clockworks, splue monkeys, slurpers, and depth worms will also respawn when your ruins regenerate. Ruins renewability is a very welcome sight indeed. The most interesting part of this update to me has to be the atrium. The atrium is a brand new biome deep within the ruins. The only way to access the atrium as of now appears to be by using a tentapillar hole as a means of transport. When you kill a tentapillar, it essentially leaves behind a wormhole for you to travel through. This biome is insanely spooky. There are all sorts of awesome new things here. Traveling through the atrium will prove difficult, as there are dangling depth dwellers everywhere for you to fight and slow you down. There are multiple obelisks that block your path, and they require you to be insane in order to pass. I've also found obelisks that require you to be above the minimum sanity threshold as well. Some areas have a side path around, meaning you don't need to lower your sanity, but not always. There also appears to be broken clockworks frequently guarding these obelisks, so make sure you're prepared when you visit. This is definitely going to prove difficult to navigate through. Much like your labyrinth, you're going to find ornate chests in this biome as well. The loot so far has been what you would typically find in your labyrinth ornate chests. At the end of the atrium, you're going to find the ancient gateway, surrounded by statues, beacons, and murals. Currently, you are able to insert not only a shadow atrium into the ancient gateway, but any gem. This includes the iridescent gem as well. After you've placed something into the atrium, you're able to pick it back out and will instead receive an ancient key. If you examine the gateway with a key of some sort inserted into it, you'll get a funny little examine saying, the light reveals ancient text, come back next update. So it looks like we just have to wait. Last, but certainly not least, we have the good old antlion. The antlion was introduced in the last patch, but has had some changes made. You can now give cut stones and thermal stones to the antlion as another method of appeasement. When feeding the antlion a thermal stone, make sure it isn't incredibly cold or very hot, otherwise you're going to have a very angry antlion on your hands. Doing this will make the antlion aggressive, and you can actually fight it now. The antlion will attempt to box you in a small area with sandcastles, and then while you're trapped, you'll be attacked with sand spikes. You can attack the sandcastle walls and escape if you wish, or you could stay and kill the antlion. Killing the antlion will give you some desert stones, the lazy deserter blueprint, meat, and some trinkets. The antlion appeared again in my next summer, so it won't be gone forever. Something incredibly cool that was added is the ability to strike the sandcastles and sand spikes with a torch. Doing this will turn the sandcastles and spikes into glass that you can carry and decorate with. There are many awesome possibilities with this. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this brief little overview of the new update. There is definitely more to come with this update, so be sure to go experience this one for yourselves. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button, it means a lot. As always, be sure to let me know what you guys think of the new update. I think it's quite awesome, and I'm really excited to see what new things will be coming our way. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.